Okay, so I ran into a guy here from the Sep clan and I set him on fire. Um, this wasn't the first time this session that I set him on fire. <laughs> but my teammates allowed me just to take the one here because, you know, he was by himself and he was staying. Which is more you can say for most players. Got to give respect for where it's due. And uh, I just made this troll build with like 29 second burn duration on the fire <laughs> seeker. And obviously he's burning for an eternity and I'm foaming him to make sure he can't do anything. <laughs> I'm just trolling around on a fucking troll status build, whatever. <laughs> and he complains. He gets really tilted because if I open the next clip here, um, you know, we're still PvPing in my three man, whatever. Killing some other players. I changed my skills around to something that was a bit more useful because more players were coming. It's a yeah, hybrid of a sort of um, max status effects near enough. Really, really good skill haste and some skill damage. I jam people for eight seconds. And so I decided to change my pistol back from reformation to perpetuation, but somebody flagged on me. Oh, yeah, he's mad. Oh, he's mad if he's flagging like that. We were back in team. We were on a rank eight. There were a couple other people, if I'm not mistaken, but they left the server. And it was just this guy old for gaming and the SEP guy. So I, uh, Putting my build to good use, getting my cooldowns back. And just wait for them to peak. Fire sticky. Boom. So I've, I've made this build for a very particular si scenario that I've run into. And uh, this isn't quite that scenario, but it's, you know, you, when you make a new build, you want to go try it out, right? Well, he wasn't very happy. <laughs> because after that, he typed cringe in the chat and a little bit of chat PVP ensues. So let me open the final clip and I'm going to slow things down here to like, let's go 5x.5. And uh, you can see the chat here as well. Let me just uh, zoom and I can bring this box over the chat like so. I was just joking around like, oh, because he brought out a hazard bill and I'm like, oh, that's cheating. I'm trying to be a bit, you know, I'm not trying to be a cunt. But he was getting tilted because, of course, a player from a clan that spends 24-7 aping the staircase with crit shotgun with the new brazen talent, which makes shotguns now overpowered and arguably skillless. Not completely skillless, but arguably skillless when holding certain positions. And he's egoing me here saying, oh, oh you're going to leave. I'm going to invite my team. Oh, just leave now because he's so butthurt. Right? And I'm going to pause here. He's so butthurt to a complete random. He's calling me, huh, fanboy, huh, no name. You know, it's funny. It's really funny. You're calling me a no name, but you're so tilted that, and your ego is so fractured, right, that you're trying to get me to leave the server before even bringing in your team. You're threatening to bring in a team that you clearly don't have online because they're all sleeping, right? You know, the set clan are mostly made up of Asians, whether it be... Japanese, Korean, Chinese, I don't know, and a few other Europeans, Russians mixed in. And it, I just find it funny that he has the audacity to complain about skill build when they spend 24-7 using the top five builds in the game, playing in a three stack or a four stack, camping one of three positions on the entire map. Either it's Staircase, DZ South, here at the safe room, or uh, Cinema in DZ West. You never see him in DZ East because there's no solid place to camp. That's why they always stay in DZ South because they have two options of, you know, power positions. And if they don't have their power position, they don't play. Like EXE, they will fight you in four man camping staircase, aping the ship with crit shotgun, sledge and healer. But the moment you take their position, go rogue in your own four man, and you move just a little bit far away, just maybe to the next landmark, they leave the server. Septan as well, he's threatening to bring his team and that we're gonna leave. Well, I've got three in, in my group right now, me and my two others here, and I got more in Discord that would have come had they brought a team. Obviously, I call the bluff, there is no team coming. He's just trying to repair his ego by getting me to leave the server so he can go, ha ha ha, see, you scared it, you leave it the server, you change it the server. Well, <laughs> I ain't stupid. I know what time it is. I know where his teammates are from, you know, so he's obviously fucking calling shit 
So then I say something about, of course, his teammates being monkeys because they are monkeys. They literally ape 24 seven. The only thing they do is crit shotgun, pistol, peeking a hand behind a wall and spamming sledge with support or healer. That's all they do. And if they can't use Regulus and they can't use shotgun, they cannot play the game. They are physically incapable of playing the game. But every time that you call them out on that, they will just say cry, ha, cry, mad, question mark, cry, ha, 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 mad, question mark. Like, that's it. Of course, he's like, yeah, you know who I am? Of course I do. You're a monkey. Huh? Let's fast forward a little bit. Maybe take the, uh, go back to real time. <laughs> So, a little bit of trash talk here, nothing too serious. So then, he tries to ego check me. Oh, he says my mum's a monkey and I have a dead dad. Oh, I'm so offended. Next. Um, <laughs> and then he goes, yeah, he stays solo. I'm like, you want to fight me solo? I don't think so. Obviously I had to elaborate because sometimes context doesn't come through text. So I had to explain that. So I'm like, well, you can try if you like. So he goes, huh, skill build? I'm like, shotgun? So, you know, we're obviously on the same wavelength here in terms of, okay, what's the next step? How are we going to move forward? Like, what's going to happen here, right? But everything's fair and equal in this situation. My teammates are no longer here. So uh, I was like, jokingly, haha, let's go mortar 1v1. Head back out and uh, I put my mortar down in a minute here. As a as kind of a joke, like taking the piss, because again, I'm taking this seriously. I'm just trolling, mucking him around a little bit, you know. Like who the fuck says seriously? Oh, let's go more to one v one. And now he's like, oh, go leave, leave newbie. Oh, 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 oh. Easy bite. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to say that he's baiting me. I'm like, you know, fuck this shit. Let's go one v one. Just me and you. Knowing that he's got an ape build on, I brought the anti ape build, which is heartbreaker. It's like. The ultimate of cheese DPS builds. He can't do anything. He's not even trying to fight me because he knows he can't. He even stand still, gives up, types some shit in the chat. He's probably laughing at the fact that I brought Heartbreaker. Well, I laugh at the fact that you bring Shotgun. So, your Shotgun to me is the same as what Heartbreaker is to you. Except Heartbreaker is better than Shotgun. So, get fucked. Cunt. And now we start playing Build Roulette. I think he has a little extra something to say. I think instead of fighting, he's gonna ha 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 ha. Typical, right? It's the one that's chatting shit is the one that's losing more often than not. I mean, he could have just come out and fought me, but he chose to type ha 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 ha. Uh, I don't get it, man. So I start go shopping in my build loadouts just to see how many different ways I can kill him. Because, again, <laughs> this ain't a serious fight to me. I'm just joking. I'm, I'm literally just trolling him, trying to make him mad, because he's obviously mad. And I don't need a fucking four-man team to camp staircase to do it. I'm by myself here. And I'm going to pause this one real quick. I've already gone over this in a, in a rehearsal to this video. I'm going to go back here, and we're going to slow it down, because my man is sticky. He's a six-red player, right? He's already on a mech kit. So we're at half time here. Sticky's me. And in these frames, he doesn't shoot me. Why doesn't he shoot me? You have a pistol. But he chose to reload his pistol instead. Now he's aiming, but it's too late. It's too late, mate. You fucked up. Your opportunity's gone. He, you know, he's pushing me close. I mean, he has the advantage here. I'm a squishy six red player. He can, like, one tap me to the head and then one to the body and I'm dead. But he doesn't know how to approach the situation. Because he's so used to aping in the staircase, held up by a four-man or a three-man with all comp, max build, support, everything, that he fucking pushes like this! I, I And I even forgot that I had a scope on this gun. Imagine you die to a scoped weapon within five meters, bro. I can't. I can't. This is a joke. There's no way you're dying like this, man. After ego checking me for 1v1. Saying, oh, I'm going to bring my team. You're going to leave the server. <laughs> And knowing he was going to come out so quickly because he's tilted, I can tell he's tilted. I threw the EMP, EMP grenade close. We go for a mirror match sticky, but I'm quicker than him. Runs around clueless. Okay. He's trying to use fire and crit. But because I have skill tiers, the fire don't proc because of the changes to the sticky. 
I don't know why it's working on fire, but that's how it is. And to be honest, I welcome it. Makes hybrids actually worth running, especially for scenarios like this. <clears throat> now he goes for the one tap. You see, <laughs> either you one tap or you shotgun tap or you pistol tap. An automatic weapon, you can see he's completely hopeless. Can't position himself correctly. Can't choose the right build because he only has ape builds. Where are his AR builds? Motherfucker doesn't even have a big horn. Tries to set me on fire again. Fails because I have skill tiers. I'm a skill build. A hybrid. Catch him out here in the open. Guess what? An ape can't fight out of his jungle. So what does an ape do when he's out of the jungle? He gets put on sledge. He gets... Why is he staying on that corner knowing that I already stickied him the last time? He doesn't learn his lesson. Why doesn't he learn his lesson? Because he is an ape! A Sep clan ape. Oh, a crypto. Why you bully a 1k shade level player? Well, perhaps, perhaps I went a bit too hard on him. Perhaps. The fact of the matter is, he's the one who got salty and tried to ego check me and then bluff by pretending that he's got friends online to get us to leave the server so he can restore his ego. If it wasn't for that, none of this would have happened. If he just left the server quietly, didn't say anything, nothing would have happened. If he maybe just complained, oh, fuck you guys, and left the server, nothing would have happened. But he had to ego check. Oh, I'm going to invite my clan. Bitch, you've got no one online. Your crew are sleeping. Okay? And you want to play in the middle of the night by yourself? Or well, what does an ape do when he's at the jungle? He gets put on sledge at the door. Now he asks a 1v1 headshot. It ain't that just funny. How many times in the past... Have I run into a situation where I felt it was worth mentioning? Yo, you know what? Let's go 1v1 headshot. I think what you're using doesn't take skill. And I want you to use what is considered a skillful build. A headshot build. One, something that requires some actual aim. Of course, I've got my 1v1 build on standby for scenarios like this. So I put it on. Here's my big horn. Classic, box standard, meta regen build with hazard. And he puts on a big shield. Motherfucker puts on another ape build. I mean, you just can't write it. Like, you can't write it. This motherfucker wants to play desync Asia to European ping simulator with shooting people behind the shield. Now, don't get me wrong. I used to play 1v1 big shield a hell of a lot. And in fact, I was pretty damn good at it. There were a few people in this game that beat me at 1v1 uh, regulus, you know, tanky reg. There were a few that got some good kills of me, some sessions where I didn't do so well. I can concede that, I will admit that, but it's really, it's under a handful of people. Next, he goes 1v1 headshot. And I've said for a long, long time, every time that these players say, oh, go headshot build, it is either a sniper build or a regulus build. They can't use 1v1 AR. Why can't you go headshot AR? Hmm? Where's your headshot assault rifle build? You don't have one. Hmm? Why don't you have one? Because you're an ape. And only apes won't have a, a headshot AR build. At least one in their loadouts. Now, you could be saying, well, I don't have a Regulus. He doesn't have a Bighorn. We're just players that play different playstyles. And, I mean, if I had a bit Regulus, I would take the fight. It's true. I would. But I don't have it anymore. I stopped playing Reg because the playstyle is boring. Sit behind a wall and hope that people run into you. And I'm not going to reserve two loadout slots, one for big horn and one for pistol, on the odd chance that someone might challenge me to a 1v1. Yeah. Oh, go 1v1 headshot. Yes, I will use pistol. Anyway, I just found this scenario quite entertaining. It happened last night. I'm making it right now the next day. And um, now he's typing in the chat. It's funny. When you don't have the crutches below you keeping you up, you can't perform. How are you losing a close range with a shotgun? How are you losing against an AR? With a shotgun? Is it because you're not camping in a very specific position? Maybe. Anyway, I get a bit carried away here talking, emoting, and I let him get a bit close to me and uh, I do die in this one. My aim was a bit off, my drone wasn't around, and I forgot to swap to my shotgun. So. I lose. GG. You got me. It only took you 10 tries. 
It only took you 10 tries. Funny, man. Ay, ay, ay. So he got his kill. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit here. So, of course, the ape has got an ape build equipped. I'm thinking he's going to flag on the door, so I make sure that I have something appropriate. Mm -hmm. I thought to go more to just to troll him. Because, again, this ain't that serious to me. I'm just trying to wind him up. And in his mind, he's like, oh, 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 he's fucking random no-name bitch is farming me. Oh, 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 you have to leave the server because I'm going to invite my team. <laughs> fucking ape. Anyway, I tell him, your turn. Let's do it. And he goes. He, he takes the bait. Runs into my burn fire, uh, my burn uh, seeker. I'm like, oh, oh my god, there's no way. There's no way you're that mad you're flagging me and they're not holding your position. That's how mad you are. It's incredible. But I'm the one who's mad, remember? He typed to the chat that I was mad. So it must be true. You know what I mean? It must be true. Anyway, I decided that, you know, if you can't even get a rank one rogue, what is the point in staying? He didn't get his manhunt. I am not obliged to stay any longer. So we up, we out. Bye bye, ape. And then he goes complaining about my build. Oh, it's almost like the ape doesn't like it when someone out apes him. It's funny, isn't it? So funny. Ironic as shit. And that is how you deliver somebody a taste of their own medicine. Don't be a bitch that complains about cheese, okay? Find your own thing that is superior to them, whether it be in 1v, 2v, 3v or 4v. For example, let me give out a quick message to the console players, the Xbox ones, you know, Son of Gods and his crew, right? You can't come to PC with your Gra Gra console 4v comp setup, three SMGs healer and a fucking Mendermine, the most useless skill in the game, and then expect people to want to play your way, right? When over here, we're playing on a platform where you have a whole bunch of different teams from different clans in different regions who have their own play styles. And that's how you deal with apes. You can't expect them to want to play your way. Everyone has found their own way to play the game. And that's just how it is. It's different play styles versus different play styles. And ideally, you would fight someone at their play style and then they will fight you at your play style. But I know for a fact and for experience that this simply isn't the case. I cannot tell you how many times we have fought other people at their playstyle, competed, maybe took some L's in the process, but then when we take some domination at their playstyle, for example, maybe we go manhunt on staircase and we want to move the fight away from stairs because we're not really fans of staircase PvP. We know how obnoxious it is to have to push up a staircase and f on sledgehammer when they can see you and you can't see them. And expect that to be, ha ha ha, I'm better than you. No, we take the fight to level ground. We take it to the street. We take it to the open where you have options. You have flank options. You have different lines of sight. You have an entire dark zone. But people only want to play. Right, I'm going to go back to the fast travel screen here. People only want to play in one of three locations. Look how big this map is. I know we can't play on the middle section of it, but you, you can see the three DZs. You have options places to play to keep this game fresh and interesting uh, you know, it's been out for five and a half years yet these teams these players and these sweat clans that play at their top of their a game with their main team 24 7 three man four man and they, they only play in three locations and they have egos it's, it's incredible you, you take away their crutches and they fall to pieces anyway that will be the end of the video uh you've seen it all here here's another episode in a bit.